child now i know y'all knew it was not over hey there besties thank you for stopping by i am michonne denise and the saga with mo neek and dl hughley daryl lynn hughley ain't over yet even though i think he didn't put this nail in the dag on coffin so DL came out with his receipt of what it is that he's supposed to do as far as this Fox Theater show thing, okay? So on the screen, you see his info. The info is here. This says March the 29th, 8.48 p.m. DL Hughley, the producer is Five Times Productions. I don't know what this stuff means, but it says Fox Theater. So that's the thing from Detroit, May the 28th. He said he crossed out. So DL says, after this, I don't want to hear no mo about this. Here it is in black and white. The only thing blacked out is personal and bank info. Pay attention to the headliner. Let's see. I could have swore I saw a headliner up in here, up in here. What It says 100% headline. Um, highest paid artist on the show. Artist to have approval of lineup. Lineup of this show. D.L. Hughley closing. Receipts are greater than opinions. I got everything that was stated in my contract. Everything. But let's say I didn't. My beef wouldn't be with anyone but the promoter and or my team. And I damn sure wouldn't make it personal. If you have a problem, take it up with management. And that, and by that, I mean yours. Signed, Daryl Lynn Hughley. Okay. So, and looking a bit closer. So the deal is probably where the money is. So yes, they should cross that out because ain't none of our business, but I'm pretty sure Mo will come back and talk about that. One show artists to be highest paid artists on the show. Artists to have approval of the lineup and running order of the show. Now the artist says DL Hughley. So this is based off of what DL Hughley is supposed to have done here. Artist, D.L. Hughley. Additional provision. Artist to have highest paid artists on the show. Artist to have approval of lineup and running order of the show. Lineup, D.L. Hughley is closing. Monique, Ada, and local radio station hosts. Purchasers are mitigating exposure. Okay, that's their COVID-19 stuff. Purchaser to provide local professional ground transportation. So that means he needs a ride. He gets a limo or whatever. All payments shall be paid by purchaser in U.S. dollars. Okay? UTA must be the purchaser. Four-month radius clause. Artist agrees not to perform within 150 miles, I think it says, or 100-mile radius of venue from date of signed contract. Okay? D.L. Hughley has produced what needed to be produced. And like I said in the live earlier, Monique typical of black women monique equals black women black women equal monique all emotional and out of pocket don't know what the heck they talking about gonna sit up here and shame blame and explain shout out to ramil and say that it's up to daryl hughley it's daryl hughley's fault he didn't put his feet underneath of my table what that has to do with one thing or another it has nothing to do with anything monique wanted to get the side of the sisters that's why she came out and started talking about this man she came out here and started talking about the contract and again like i said if she had issue with the contract then she should have went to her damn lawyer her management, her manager, her husband, her producers, all those type people. Not bringing it out here for the masses, but she got to try to save some face and get the sisters on her side. You can't tell me that's what this wasn't about. So she going to sit up here and say, you did this, you did this, you did this, you did this. And call him a bitch ass nigga in front of every daggone body. How can a black man, when did it become okay for a black man to talk about a black woman? Like, like you're somebody damn special. Like black women are just this epitome of no one can correct them and tell them anything, say anything about them, do anything. And then they can sit up here and start talking about bitch ass nigga, white supremacy, racism, bitch ass nigga, white supremacy, racism to try to throw people off. No one's standing for that BS anymore. Monique, you have shot yourself in the foot. When you lose out on Lee um, Daniels, I'm going to laugh in your damn face face because y'all know what it is y'all wanted to talk about karma y'all wanted to talk about karma when it came to kevin samuels this is gonna be monique's karma yet a effing again yet again 
You're doing it all wrong. You will not correct yourself. Here you are looking like a plum damn fool. I don't care what anyone has to say about D.L. Hughley because I don't particularly care for him either. However, the facts are the effing facts. She was wrong from the gate. She's put business out here that's no one's business but hers and even maybe not even be his. But even if it is, you out here looking for public approval. You trying to get the sisters behind you. By sitting up here acting like the black man did something to you. You do it to yourself all the effing time. All y'all keep doing this mess to yourselves. But you want to continue to blame. Blame, no accountability, nothing. And I'm sick of it. Because you all do this mess and then people get the rest of us confused with acting crazy like you crazy ass heifers. Y'all are out of your effing mind. Please get some daggone help. Stop it. You are in control of your own damn life. Stop blaming people for your damn mistakes. Life is not supposed to be easy all the damn time. It is not supposed to float by like you see on effing TV. You are supposed to make corrections in your damn life. You are supposed to make different choices if you don't like the outcomes that you are getting. But instead, you blame, you take no accountability, it's everybody else's fault, everybody in the whole damn world, and where is that going to get you? Nowhere. Yeah, Monique might have some money, but she could have a damn sure a lot more. What is she out here fighting for if it ain't about money? Because it certainly isn't respect, because that woman don't respect her damn self. And her husband is not out here helping her at all. If a man is supposed to be the voice of reason, where is Sydney at or whatever the hell his name is? Why ain't he saying, ma'am, you need to calm the F down? Because he don't care because he has nothing. He has no career. He has nothing but being married to damn Monique. What does he have to lose? That man has nothing to lose. So he's just allowing it to be because that's his bread ticket is Moo damn neat. So if they ever get divorced and he, he's going to go and take everything that she has left and then she's going to be on the side of the damn road. Somebody said that she's daggone, um, um, Diane Carroll. She is Eartha Kitt. She is not no Diane Carroll. She is Eartha Kitt because she does not see her ways are wrong. She don't see her mistakes. She ain't trying to hear her, her mistakes. She ain't trying to do nothing but continue to shame and blame another damn black man. Like he said, he brought up all them people. He was absolutely right. All she wants to do is blame others, take no accountability and try to get black women to feel sorry for her. But they didn't forget the fact that you tried to correct them on the bonnets. Trust and believe they didn't forget all that. Okay. They going to say, Oh, we with you. Oh, we with you. Oh, we with you. Oh, we with you until it comes time to come and support you. Cause they ain't going to do that. They ain't going to come out and see you, but they're going to be in this mess Cause that's what black women like mess. Anything that causes black men strife, they like it. Anything that makes other people miserable, they like it. Anything that causes everyone to look at things like what the hell, they like it. Conflict, drama, bullshit. That's what they like. And that's what we got here. So the question is now, are you going to come out and apologize to DL Hughley and say, you know what? I was wrong. I should have took this to my lawyer. I should have took this to my management. I should have took this to my producer or whoever the heck it is that they would take it to. I should have took this to my promoter, the promoter, something. Why would D.L. Hughley come out here and have to lie? This doesn't even sound right given Monique's track record. She has a track record of track record of being completely difficult and an ass. She looks like a plum damn fool. So she's going to go back on the blacklisted list. And let me tell you something. I ain't going to ever look at nothing from her. I have no need, no desire. Again, I don't like female comedians, but I most certainly would never give her a dime of my time or my money. Nothing. She could forget it. She ain't never going to get on Netflix because they see all this. You think all these venues don't see all this? I'm not talking about the people that's like in Memphis and on Hollywood and stuff. I'm talking about people where they give you the money up front. Why would anyone give her the money up front when she going to act like a plum damn fool? An idiot. Stupid. Needing some mental health help. Needing to get a counselor, a therapist, a doctor, a psycho, a psychiatrist, a psychotherapist. She needs something. Where is Sydney at to tell his wife, you on calm down, biatch, because you doing the wrong thing and you hurting your brand and our future earnings. Where's Sydney at to take control of the situation? 
That's what you need a man for. So he can be the voice of daggone reason. So he can come in and say, no, ma'am, this is not how we doing this. So he can come in and say, ma'am, you need to go ahead and apologize to these people because you're making more enemies than you are friends. You can come out here and try to use that soft voice whenever you feel like it. But then you turn around and you turn up all the daggone time that negates the rest of that. You bringing stuff to the public that you don't need to be bringing it to. We need to go ahead and talk to our lawyers because this is not what we was told. But this ain't DL's fault. This ain't D. This ain't on DL. This is on the promoter. This is on the venue. Cause he's got this. We got that. If those two ain't looking right, bringing it to the public. What can we do? What can we do but talk about it? And that's what I'm doing, talking about it. And I'm saying that you look like a fool. You ain't gonna be working in Hollywood for much longer, Mooney. You're just not. You best not. This is the best advice that I can give you. You best not do something to 50 Cent. Because that's going to be it. Because he don't play no games and he has no shame. And he will go ahead and go and take you all the way down to the lowest common denominator. That'd be my, that'd be my suggestion to Monique, okay? That's it. That's all. She looks like a fool. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. Please consider subscribing to the channel. I will see you all in the next one.